What's good? I'm back again. The lighting is weird, isn't it? I'm sitting somewhere else than I usually sit, so that may be why. What's popping? What's going on? What's happening? <clears throat> oh, you may be wondering why I have a big photo of myself right there. Uh... Let me see. No, I can't show you that. Okay, anyway, what that is, is it's a, uh, for my, I think it was my 14th, 15th birthday. Um, it was really fun because uh, actually what happened was I was going home from set. And then it turned out that uh, I, I really wanted to go home because I was about to have a dinner with my family and I wanted to change. Because I want to like, I'm, I, I mean, look cool and like whatever at a dinner. So... Uh, the person who drove me home, I was like, yo, can I go home real quick? Because I want to change before I go to this party. He's like, no, 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 we have to head straight there. And like, I'm like, why? <laughs> like, we have like two hours until it starts. Like, just let me go home and change. Like, no, 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 we have to go straight, straight there. And I was super confused. But I, I mean, you're not going to argue with that person. So, um, oh, sorry. There was a dog outside. But anyway, um, so, uh, I went to that dinner, um, and then everybody was there, like, my family was there, the Hunt Street cast was there, it was crazy, it was like this surprise party type of thing, which I've never experienced, I've never experienced surprise parties, because I usually don't like surprises, but it was fun, um, anyway, so my mom, um, took out that photo of me, I'm like, what is that for, <laughs> because it's, I mean, it, I personally find it kind of like, not embarrassing, but strange to just have a photo of yourself, uh, at a, at a dinner, so, um, but then, uh, the whole Hunchy cast signed it, uh, I, I've had some funny quotes on set, which I won't share with you, uh, maybe one day, um, but I won't share you those with, I won't share those with you for now, um, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff, I think some of it's kind of, like, personal, though, let me check, I haven't, like, moved this in a while, Let's see what we got. Uh, oh, this is the first year that I was tall, taller than Kira. So she said, like, uh, happy birthday. Yes, I know you're taller now. It's stupid, but, like, cute. It's, like, cool things like that. Oh, that was Wilson's mom. She's very nice as well. Kia. Oh, I miss Kia. Driver. Oh, this is a funny story. So, uh, I don't know who. I think this was Thomas. Uh, <laughs> this is some funny stuff. I haven't looked at this in a while. Um, <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I I, I was reading a bunch of stuff because I haven't looked at this in a while. But driver, uh, where the, what it says right here. Um, hope you didn't see that. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it it was this game that we always played in the green room. So in between scenes, um, we would always want to uh like like chill and hang out with each other why is the lighting so bad uh ugh. that's a bit better uh no it's not okay anyway why is my there we go okay so um we always like chill hung out and stuff um and so what we always played this game it's called driver and then during the third season it broke or the second season i think it broke um but it was a super fun game you just drive through san francisco uh, which I love, and no, it was a lot of fun. Let's see what else is on here. Uh, Wilson, happy birthday, mate. And then he puts in parentheses in an English accent. For, oh, I can't say that. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Happy birthday, Rockstar, Martha. Oh, my goodness. What a legend. There's so many people who are like, this is crazy, because there have been so many um, people on set that like come and go like um crew and cast uh so and there's like a bunch of these names of people like I, I i'm always like uh like i love meeting new people so i love having new people on like set and stuff and there's this guy called marta who's like such a rock star such a nice guy i love that guy haven't seen him since um but yeah like he's still a nice guy now like i see what he put on my birthday which is very nice zoe oh you guys remember zoe that was the first season, wasn't it? Oh, this was for the first season. Oh, yeah, I said that. Do you guys remember Zoe? What was her last name? What's her last name? Harding? In the show, she was the daughter of Saganesh. 
Uh, Stoney said, nice stash, fam. Because <laughs> this is, like, 14, where I turned it either 14 or 15. And I was starting to get, like, little disgusting things on my upper lip. <laughs> yeah. Thomas, love you, man. Happy birthday, homie. Oh, this is so sweet. Oh, this is really funny, guys. Some of you who are, have, like, been really, like, watching my stories and stuff uh, during filming. There's this guy called Gerard. Or Gerard, or whatever you want to call him. Some people call him Jerry. He's just... I, I wish everybody could meet that guy one day. He is so hardworking, so kind. Always... He's so lovable. He's the best. Like, I... I, I like... He's, like, the nicest guy ever. He honestly is. He was a sound guy. And almost all of my stories uh, are uh, of him. A lot of my stories when I was filming are of him. It's this... Uh, <laughs> He's, he's bald. Uh, if you go to my highlights, I'm sure I have a bunch of stuff like that. Uh, he's super lovable, super kind, so funny, really hardworking. Just kind soul, man. For real, yeah. But yeah, thought that would be fun to share. Anyway, ask me some questions. Oh, I have a bunch. Of, wow, this is so sick. Oh, all right, let me show you this one thing and then, then I'm done. Um, so, uh, in the house, in the hunter house, there's like these, uh, we need to have these, uh, like photos, like, you know, we need to need to have like family photos in the house because otherwise it wouldn't be like our house. So, uh, we took a bunch of photos on set one day and, uh, they, they kind of made it into like this collage, but it was framed and I was like, oh, I'm going to, on the last day, <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, sorry, Sean. on the last day of, um, shooting, I, uh, um, they, they, we got, they get, can't even speak. We received this, which is like a collage of the second season, which is like fun photos that we took. That's me and Mamie in a trash can. <laughs> so sick. This was like the first day that, we, that I met Kate. I'm very tan there because I just came back from France. Um, man, this brings back crazy memories. But yeah, so I was like, to like, can I can I take this home? And they're like, oh, I'll do you one better. And then everybody just got this photo, which is so sick. Man, this brings back good memories, man. If you have photos on your desk, they haven't looked at in a while. Look at them because... Ah! Okay, this last, last, last thing. This was the first photo that I ever received of Hunt Street. This was also my very first day on set. As this, I don't know if you guys even recognize this little kid in the corner over there. This is Stoney. You guys know him. It was his birthday. Sorry, Shower called me. Anyway, this is my first day on set. Uh, that's Stoney, you guys know him, it was his birthday, uh, when was his birthday? March, oh, I almost got that wrong, March 9th, which is yesterday, I think, or two days ago. Uh, that's Stoney, this is Kira, you guys know her, this is Tosca, uh, Kira plays Annika, in case you don't, this is, uh, if you, in case you didn't know, this is, this is the guy who plays Max, Annika, so that's Kira, this is Meme, she played Tess, uh, this is Thomas, Daniel, uh, Tosca, our mom, uh, Kate, uh, and, uh, Ronald, Eric. So this is, this is like the first, oh, it's kind of dusty. I need to, clean. Oh, my goodness. I need to clean this. Anyway, uh, yeah. Look at this little guy in the corner. My goodness. This guy was very, I mean, I wouldn't say shy because I don't think my castmates would agree with me. He's very cocky. Um, but yeah, that's that. So yeah, I got a bunch of photos. Like every, almost all my photos over here are from Hunchy, except these ones. These are from my birthday. Those, those, these are some of the birthday photos with the boys. Yeah, that's sick. Anyway, ask me some questions that you'd like to know, or some questions, or whatever. Ask me something. What's up? What's going on? Come to Greece. Bet. All right, let's book a flight. I'm down. How old am I? Take a guess. I never, I don't think I've ever actually answered that question how old I am. I love like asking people to guess how old I am so I know how old I look. I love knowing how old I look for some reason. I don't know. I, some people say I look 12. Some people say I look 20. Like, I, I, I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, guess. Take a guess. So, some of you guys know it. So, I, I, I already know that's just going to not be right. Uh... Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now, all of you guys Google it or something. No, I'm 17. Yeah, I'm 17. That's correct. 
Who's my best friend? This is going to start some drama in the group. No, I'm joking. I really don't have a best friend. I'm very close with uh, all of them. I'm very close with Josh, Oli, Jeremy, Shahar, Shiraz. Uh, who am I missing? Jeremy, Shahar, Shiraz, Josh, Oli. Uh, I mean, those those are the ones you guys know, I think. I don't think you guys know any of the other ones. But no, I, don't, I truly don't have like a best, best friend. I've known... I've known Josh for a really long time. Well, not even that long, but it feels like it's long. Uh, I've known Shiraz, Shiraz for a really long time. I've known I've known Oli for a while now, too. I've known a lot of the boys for a while. Who's my celebrity crush? I mean, in case she's watching, I can't say that. No, I'm kidding. She'd never watch my live streams. <laughs> or at least not yet, I hope. Uh, some of you guys may know my celebrity crush, but I'll keep that up to the mystery. Take a guess. I think some of you guys might know. But I'm not, I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to say. So you just have to Google that or find an interview about it or whatever. Hello, mom. Hi. What's up? What's up? Hello. Sorry, my mom had to ask me something. All right. Uh, <laughs> somebody already got it right. I'm not going to say who. You guys just are going to have to guess. Have I ever been in Germany? I have. I definitely have. I love it there. I've, I've been to Europa Park, which um, uh, which was where the German Kids' Choice Awards were. And I think we're going again this year. But don't quote me on that. We might. I don't know. But it'll be fun because I think we're nominated for, for a category, me and Kira. Um, go vote if you haven't. Go vote for us if you want to. Um, yeah. So I hope I hope I'm going there again. Where is Europa Park somewhere? I think it starts with an R, R Roost or something, something like that. <clears throat> what is my favorite object? <laughs> That's a good question. I've never I've never gotten asked that before. My favorite object? Oh, this is really cute. I don't even think you got you guys saw this. So when like ah! Oh, I thought that was gonna about to fall. I don't know if this is my favorite, but I, this is like my most recent cool thing. So uh, in LA, when I was in LA with, uh, my brother and my mom, uh, I went to go see my manager and then, um, Tommy stayed in the hotel and then I was super tired. So I just got home, got, in, got to the hotel and just fell asleep. And then I woke up the next morning with Tommy saying, look what I got you. That was the cutest thing ever. Can you guys see what it says? Oh, it's backwards. It says best brother, which is very, very nice and very cute. Which reminded me of what a nice boy that guy can be sometimes. Because he's going through the puberty times. No, I'm joking. He's really... That That was, like, the nicest thing. Like, I, he never, like... Gets me this type of thing. So, it's very... It's very, very kind of him. That's probably, like, my favorite object. Like... Because it's recent. So... But, yeah. That was really cute. Who's my favorite singer? Uh... Uh... It's also a good question that I can never answer. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I, I I have a lot. I I just listen to like super varied music. I listen to a lot of like rap and like Dutch things, hip hop, R and B, yeah, those type of things. Uh, yeah, I don't like I I, ne I I rarely am thinking. Oh, that's my favorite singer right now. I rarely have that. I just listen to kind of like varied music. I don't listen to something like specific usually. Favorite actor? That would be either Timothy Chalamet, Tom Holland, Harris Dickinson. Um, who else? I think those guys are... Oh, Ansel Elgort, Stoney, Stoney Blyden, Thomas Jansen, all those guys, Wilson. Um, yeah, I mean, those those, those, those are the main ones, I'd say. They're, they're all phenomenal actors, really, really good. Um, I've watched a lot of their work. It's just phenomenal like there's the, like the way timothy Ch i think timothy chalamet is probably my favorite actor that guy is just he's got a gift <laughs> he really does no he worked hard for it he, he, it's not like yeah you're not i don't think you, like you can be born with like a good singing voice and just improve it i don't think you can be born with good like acting skills i think you really have to like progressively work hard on it and like Maybe you can. I mean, I I, I don't know. I definitely I, I <laughs> looking back at some things. Uh, I you I don't think you're bored with it. I think you can always always improve your acting. 
singing as well. Though. So I, I yeah, I don't. I just don't think people are born with it. But I hope that doesn't cause anything. Can I sing? Absolutely not. You'll never hear me sing, unless all of a sudden I'll wake up with a crazy voice and then I'll sing. But there's a small chance that would happen. <laughs> Uh, but who knows, man? Maybe one day. Probably not, but, like, don't... I wouldn't say wait for an album, because that's not going to come in a while. If it, if it's going to come, it's not going to come in a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, because I need, like, singing lessons for 16,000 years. I love singing, though. It's fun with the boys, and just whenever. <laughs> but, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, like, record myself or anything like that. Welcome to Eurovision. Possibly that'd be cool actually because it's here now. It's in Rotterdam, which is like an hour, not an hour, like a half an hour drive or something. That'd be cool. Who knows? Maybe, but like maybe not because this virus thing going on and everybody's freaking out over that. I'm like, are you guys just like school closed? Is that's not right? That's not correct. Dutch, English. Are your are your guy? Are your guys' school... That's what I'm trying to say. Are your guys' school closed? Because mine's still open. Which, I don't know why, because there's a lot of cases of corona here now. But, yeah. Ha, la, la. Your school is closed? Wow. Do you still have class, though? Because I know for a fact that if our school closed, we, we would still, like... We would still have class. Like, but we would, we would like, just... FaceTime or video call with our teachers and like yeah, give a room tour. I don't know about that right now. My room's kind of messy. I'll show you something quickly though. This chair is where I put all my clothes that I don't feel like putting in my closet or washing. Uh, yeah, that's that's it basically. Oh, and that's my shoe closet and some school stuff. Uh. How do you turn this around? Oh, there we go. Alrighty. What else is going on? Yeah, the virus is kind of... It's kind of messed up, isn't it? kind of sucks. But, you know. Things happen. This is a cool cool spot to go live. I've, I've, I always go live, like, downstairs in the dining room or, like, here or... This is kind of cool. Ah! You see my messy bed. Oh, don't want that. Uh, our school's closed till 27th of March when we face them. Teachers and things. Yeah, but doesn't that get, like, I don't know, personally, it's kind, it gets kind of difficult to just wake up early just to, like, go on your computer and do school. Like, you can do homework, but, like, actually follow class. But maybe, maybe, the, maybe that's just me. I don't know. I might be the only one who feels like that. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> um, am I wearing Calvin Klein? <laughs> Uh, I am. Yes. <laughs> uh, what else? <laughs> okay. Dang, these hearts on the side are sick, too. You know, I find the blue heart such a satisfying emoji. I don't know why. It just looks so clean. Or the purple. One. Maybe that's because purple and blue are kind of similar. And purple is my favorite color. Oh, should I make my room purple right now? One got significantly darker in here, but not much cooler. Uh, look at that. I find it such a nice, like, satisfying, cool color. Uh, and blue as well. But I, like, when I get home from school and I don't have, like, homework to do, I just make my room this color because I just think it's so, so sick. So nice. Well, when will Hunter Street Season 4 be out? I mean, if you guys keep watching, then I, I, I know as much as you do, guys. Yeah. I don't know much. I just know as much as you guys do. <sighs> Lighting's sick, right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. I know, my room's a mess. <laughs> my room's such a mess. Ah, oh, wow, look at this. This is how you know your room's a mess. When you just have a random highlighter sitting on your desk without any like cap or, or lid anywhere. Oh, and then you have another highlighter. That's the exact same, but with a lid. Cause why not? Oh my goodness, this is the one I always use for my highlight on my lines. I'll tell you why I know that. Cause you must think, well, how do you know that? 
Um, so usually actors, or maybe that's just me, but I learned on my first day of set that whatever color highlighter you highlight your lines with and your directions, you should always just keep uh, using that same color throughout your whole career just because it's how you started and that's how the, how you memorize your lines and does. I think maybe it's a psychological thing, but it works for me. I always highlight my lines in yellow and my direction in sometimes yellow, sometimes green. I don't, I don't use blue. Sometimes I use pink. I need to be more consistent though, but I usually use yellow. But the way I know that this is the one I always highlight my lines with is because it has a little scratch right here and you can feel it has a little scratch and uh i remember just when i was highlighting lines i was like half asleep so i would like hit my highlighter on the table to like wake me up because it may makes kind of like a lot not that loud but kind of loud noise <laughs> uh yeah so that's a little fun story behind that what else this is cool actually i haven't looked at this in a really long time this is a look how dusty it is because i i <laughs> There's just some things that uh, I don't, I don't, oops, um, I don't take them off my desk. I just sometimes look at it, but I never take things off. What is it? What are you, oh, here we go. Uh, this is kind of really cool. I think this is a giant. What the hell? This is a, this is a Cubs ball. Why do I have a Cubs ball? I'm a giant. Fan. But it still looks cool and it's satisfying. Um, what was this? Oh, I think this is Laura's. <laughs> so, I don't know why, but my sister graduated from my school and got a bear. And I don't know why it's in my room, but it's in my room. Uh, yeah, and then there's just some photos. There's a card. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know the game of Cards Against Humanity. De definitely only play if you're, like, 12 and up or if, you, if, if like, swearing is appropriate. Um, and we made, like, our own... Our own, like the Creighton's Cards Against Humanity. You guys will never see those cards because there's some embarrassing stuff of my family in there. Uh, who knows? Maybe one day. Um, highly doubt it though. <laughs> oh man, that would be a, that would be really fun. That would be a lot of fun to show you guys those cards. My goodness, there's some crazy stuff in there. Should I look at them real quick just to tease you? Ah! Are they in here? Yeah, so this game, their slogan is a party game for horrible people. So don't play if you're like, ah, oh, damn. I don't know where we put those. Oh, they're up there somewhere. Anyway. What's up? What else is going on? Why am I in Hunter Sheep but not in the Luke Weeks? Uh, funny story behind that. Because uh, everything is a funny story. Um, Hunter Street actually started like casting and filming uh, after the Luke Weeks. So the Luke Weeks was on, was on TV first. And then the American, American market or American Nickelodeon liked it. So they wanted an American version. Um, and then, of course, first they checked if everybody, like, English was good or whatever, um, for, from the music. But then, um, they, they started casting for Hunter Street and booked it and now we're here. Messi or Ronaldo? Uh, to be honest, like, I'm not a big fan of either of them, but if I had to choose, I really don't know. Probably Ronaldo, but I I I don't really think he like. Of course they get, but they're both of them are definitely not my favorite. Who's my favorite? I don't really have a favorite right now because the one who used to be my favorite, my favorite is a transferring from Ajax, so he's not my favorite anymore. Uh, <laughs> there's this funny guy on Ajax. His name is Eklekamp. And when uh, Juventus played against Ajax, Ronaldo was playing there already, and uh, uh, Ajax was winning, or it was tied or something like that, and Juventus had, like, a fast break, or final break, or how, what do you call that? Counter. <laughs> Counter attack. And then uh, Eklikom just 
completely took out Ronaldo. Like he didn't like slide that goal, but he just pushed him down because uh, he 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 knew he wasn't gonna play the next game, so he just pushed him down and got a yellow. But then Ronaldo didn't score. So I love him. He's really funny. I mean, he probably doesn't try to be funny, but I, I don't know. That's yeah. That's my quick story. <laughs> Do I have a girlfriend? I'll keep that up to the mystery. <laughs> yeah, gotta do some digging. Oh, I'm keeping it up to the mystery, guys. You can keep asking me, but keep it up to the mystery. I'll keep you guys, keep you guys, uh, um, ling lingering. I don't know. I'll leave it up to the mystery. Uh, do I know how to speak Serbian? No, no, I don't. I'm sorry. I only speak Dutch, 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 English, uh, and un poco español. Pero it's no bueno porque yo I say quit in Spanish. See, I don't even know that. Uh, I stopped taking Spanish because I needed to take two languages and just English and Dutch. Anyway, I gotta do some homework because otherwise I'm not gonna get anything done. Wow, the sky is beautiful. Look at that. That's pretty. All right, uh, I'm gonna leave this here. Uh, yeah, just show you my lights real quick. Uh, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you for watching this live stream. I'll try to do more of these, like, quick, kind of cool, fun things. Um, oh, there's a fun fact about my room. I have a bunch of stuff from Nickelodeon right there. There's, there's like, a whole there's a bag filled with a bunch of cool stuff, which I do use. I just put it back over there because I think it's satisfying. I have, like, colors together. Uh, anyway. That's satisfying too. All those colors that you just sent blue, red, orange, yellow, and blue. Those are, that's like, I don't know. I think that's satisfying. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this live stream. I'll try to do more of these uh, when I get the chance. Appreciate it. Love you all. Keep working hard. Keep all smiling. Peace.